But you guys gave her permission to go in, deal with your father, and then after that, uh, years go by, she finds herself in a way. It was supposed to be a voice. Just a voice. Yeah, Just a that, voice. That's what it was supposed to but be. It's a, I don't know it, how she did the video thing, but it was supposed to be voice. Wow. So, so nobody man. was in there making sure she was doing what she was said she was supposed to do? Man, I don't know how that happened. I don't know if she had a secret camera or oh, she okay. had set it up so that they would let her do it. But mm. It wasn't that, agreed upon. That wasn't part of our deal, so that was like some low-down stuff out the gate. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Man, you know, I um, I seen your last interview with you and Jay Prince, and it was a good interview actually. Uh, but after I seen it, I mean, I was I was watching, you know, you you just basically, you know, they were asking a lot of good questions on Million Dollar Worth of Game, and, right? And I was like, man, you know, uh, good interview. But then fast forward, I see Wack One Hundred come on the show, yeah. And I think y'all was on, you may have been on that same show as well. Or, 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 or either Jay Prince had me. I'm, I'm trying to figure out this show in California. No, was it in California? It was another show okay. that he was on. And I don't remember the name of it. I hate that because I always shot people out. It, was, it, was, it must have been Dub CNC. That's Jack. who it was. Yeah. So when he, did, when he was on that show, WAC 100 said uh, he basically was like that Jay was trying to influence negativity somewhat on Larry who was legacy and he didn't want him to get out he flipped it on it he yeah. flipped the whole scenario i really think and believe wholeheartedly that jay prince whole mission is to somehow some way in a slick snake way is to set it up so larry hoover cannot get out of prison oh hell i no. disagree with that whole hell no it's so, interesting. that's very interesting so i'm trying to figure out how how does how do we get to that point? You know what I mean? Like like how do we get to a point where you guys were because it, it was some kind of it was a lady that had some kind of film documentation on your father, right? Uh, a video maybe, right? She interviewed him. Mm -hmm. um, did you seek to get the interview or something? Why does this come up after all this time? <laughs> I gotta ask this. <laughs> Yeah, it was a lady that was working with us at one point in time. Oh, she was working with you guys? Yeah, with, okay. with me and my mother. She would have never talked to my father if it wasn't That's what for I would my think. mother uh, vouching for her to go talk to my father. He wouldn't have never talked to her. He talked to her because of the relationship they had. And she had the information. Well, we the, the stuff, it never materialized with well, what we were trying to do with it. And the lady disappeared over the years. And Okay. Because when you guys first, uh, and that's what I was trying to get at, because I know I was interested in understanding when you guys first let her go in and do this, what were we trying to accomplish in doing this? At, at that time, I, I think we were trying to do a book or a documentary type okay. situation. You know, we were trying to show who my father was, tell the story. Okay. You know. So, and, and when this thing unfolds, it evidently didn't come to fruition. No, it didn't come to fruition, and... She never turned over the stuff that she had, and she, you know, she was gone. And years later, I reached out to her when we were trying to work on a pardon package, and uh, I needed some of the footage so we can show, mm -hmm. humanize my father, show who he was. And right. then she wanted to know who was going to get paid or how was she going to get paid for this footage. Oh, so it's but, all about the money. Right, but she was... At that time, she was working with the family when she right. did it. Like, we're going to do a documentary. we go show the world who he is and what he's about because he's fighting for his life. But years later, when we need some of this footage, it's like, who's going to get paid for it? So after that, after we were dealing with Kanye, and, you know, he tried to get the footage for us, and I think they wanted too much money, so he, you know, it was going back and forth or something. So Correct. They so wound up talking to Jay, and... They didn't like the offer Jay gave. They didn't counter offer. They just came back with the fact that, um, like, get out the way. If you if somebody lowball you on the offer in business, you um, you come back offer. right. Yeah, they they said, oh no, this is not happening. And in stuff that case, just went haywire. they weren't they weren't interested in the first place. They were just entertaining the idea. They, but when you when you think about it they see an opportunity though they people are opportunists to mm -hmm. be honest with you so it ends up being a situation where she's 
you know, basically she has, like we have, we have a lot of footage mm -hmm. of different people. It was another, it was an opportunity. It was like the Rick Ross put his name out there. Correct. Mm -hmm. The big concert with Kanye and Drake put his name, there it my is. father's right. name back in the world like that. And, oh, well, here's how I'm going to get my money because now he's popping and this footage is worth something. Yeah, and, and basically you end up being, it's like you guys are just, basically people are using you and really you don't benefit from it when people do that. Yeah. They ain't like they coming to you saying, hey, man, can we do this? Mm -hmm. They just take and do it. You know what I mean? And so on the documentary, to get back to that, because I went back to Rick for a minute, but right. Rick Ross. But I'm just thinking about how it helps. I mean, like I can say somebody's name, but like on the song, you got to get clearance to do certain things when, thing, when you do things. So right. there are boundaries and things that you have to deal with. But you guys gave her permission to go in, deal with your father, and then after that, uh, years go by, she finds herself in a way. It was supposed to be a voice. Just a interview. voice. Yeah, Just a that, voice. That's what it was supposed to but be. It's a, I don't know it, how she did the video thing, but it was supposed to be voice. Wow. So, so nobody was in there making sure she was doing what she was said she was supposed to do. Man, I don't know how that happened. I don't know if she had a secret camera or oh, okay. she had set it up so that they would let her do it. But mm. It wasn't that, agreed upon. That wasn't part of our deal, so that was like some low-down stuff out the gate. Wow. Yeah, so. So couldn't you just take her to court and just get the tape because that wasn't in the agreement? I mean, we're not gonna talk about all that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so but yeah, that make that, I mean, that sounds like the sensible thing to do, but you still gotta <laughs> deal with, regardless, you gotta deal with uh, being portrayed a certain type of way. And, you know, some, some questions gotta be answered. Without, without truth, lies become truth. So True. sometimes That's you right. have to put True. some truth out People there. People like to, to, the lies better, they more entertaining a oh, lot of times. You do. know that. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's the sad part, but it's the truth. That's mm -hmm. why I'm born. Because <laughs> <laughs> you tell the truth. Because <laughs> no, I get it. So um, what what do you think that, like, like do you think that you and Jay's, like, I think, it, to me, it, it comes off as a thing that puts an eye on the fact of things that, or not being spoken on if you and Jay wasn't going out doing the podcast, talking to the people. You know what I mean? Do you think that affected in a negative way or a positive way? I mean, it kind of just lets the world know that. Who he is. Yeah, it lets the world know who, who my father is, but it also just lets the world know that. Um, so the podcast for, that we did with Jay, for one, we fighting for my father's life. Correct. That's what it's about. And for two, just to share the light on what's going on, just that it, so it can be known, so people would know before they take part in this situation. Like, this is not an upfront situation. Like, mm -hmm. this is not really with the the um, acceptance of the family. You know, you know, because they, you know, you heard the podcast. Oh, I don't need them. I'm gonna do whatever. Yeah. You know? yeah. So it's like. All right, well, we want y'all to know that it possibly could be an issue. And when I say issue, I mean with lawyers and all that type correct, of stuff. I correct. don't want it to be misunderstood. Correct. Right. No, no, I get it. it. But you have to it, clarify yourself nowadays. Yeah, I do, because they're taking it another way. But, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, that it could possibly possibly be an issue if you do business with this because the family didn't agree upon the situation. Correct, correct. And, I mean, I, I, heard, I heard Jay Prince on the interview. He wasn't... He, he definitely wasn't holding back when he come down to WAC 100 and yeah. the position he held with, you know, uh, what he who what he is as far as in his eyes yeah. for what he's doing. <laughs> I put it in that way, you yeah. know. All the culture, because I'm a nigga that stand for the culture. You know what I mean? I love the hip hop culture. You know, I, I put in a lot of work where the hip hop culture is concerned. I blaze the trail. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when I see one, you know, trying to shit on Tupac, trying to shit on Nipsey, trying to shit on, you know, the homie Big U out there, trying to shit on Master P, you know, good nigga, real niggas, you know, Meek Mill, you know, I, I see a nigga get on a, a podcast and with, a, with another rat and go off on 21 Savage. I'm like, oh, this nigga got diarrhea at the mouth. He, he like full of shit, right? He, he the type of nigga that will shit in the bed and blame it on the baby. Huh. You know what I mean? Imagine that. You know, you take a raw shit in the bed and say that's the baby <laughs> shit. I ain't shit it. Cause I'm like I said, I don't I, I don't know whack, but I do know that um, you know, 
I've seen him, you know, pretty much he does Clubhouse and a lot of other stuff. Right. And just to see the back and forth, you know, with the brothers, I'll be like, man, I hate it's like this. But I understand if you make a wrong move, because I didn't really know how he played part in it, really, to be honest with you. But right. the lady, from what he's saying, is she reached out to him, Yeah. I guess, to get him to somewhat combat what she might be facing. Um, but at the end of the day, your your father's legacy far as him trying to help bring the people together, that's the thing that you guys are pretty much showing. Hey, man, this guy is 70, 71? Yeah. 71 He'll years be 72 old. 72 this year. Be 72 this year. He's not a threat, and he has an opportunity that he could be released. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.